So today we're going to talk about using text-to-speech uh, with our Google Nest Mini. In the previous video, linked above here, uh, I talked about using the Google Nest Mini to control things within your Home Assistant automation. Now I'm going to use it to tell you what's going on within your Home Assistant automation. So let's get started. So one of the very first lessons I learned was that you need to make sure you have your Google Nest Mini on the same network as your Home Assistant. I was running it on my on my IoT network and that complicates matters. It's usable, but you have to do a lot of routing and things within your network to make it work. So I went ahead and put it back on my main network, which is fine. I like to separate them out, but I'm not worried too much about this. All right, so one of the things you're gonna have to do first is you're gonna have to make sure that you have um, your text-to-speech set up within your home uh, configuration at YAML. So for that, we'll use this TTS um, setting here and platform will be Google Translate. Uh, I'm going to use English. It does understand other languages, so you can use that. Uh, we can do caching, uh, temp directory, slash temp, slash TTS. What it's going to do is it's going to create a, an MP3 file with your text message, and then it's going to call that and it's gonna play that back over your Nest Mini device. So um, all this has to be correct in order for that to work. So it's a multi-step process that happens in the background. So our base URL is very important here. I'm using external URL and internal URL within my Home Assistant setup, but I'm also setting this base URL because this is the URL it's gonna call when it tries to play back that MP3 file that it records. So that's going to be my home assistant IP address with a port of 8123. If you're running SSL on your home assistant instance, you need to make sure this is an S here, but I'm not internally. So I'm just doing HTTP. And then my service name is going to be Google say, once you have all this set up, make sure you restart home assistant. In addition to that, you need to come over to your integrations on your configuration. And you need to make sure that you are, or that you need to come over here and do your Google Cast or set up Google Cast. When I turned on Home Assistant and rebooted, it found um, my device and automatically added this Google Cast here. It was up in this corner here and it was blue, meaning it needed some action. So I went ahead and I ran the setup options for that or setup for that and it found my one device. I gave it a location. So my guest speaker is in the guest bedroom. Uh, and the integration is Google Cast. Manufacturer, of course, is Google. Make this a little bit bigger for you. Uh, and it found those devices under the integration. And now that I've made it bigger, I've lost it. So Google Cast, here it is. And of course, one entity is the guest speaker. So it comes out as media player guest speaker. So whatever, you're, whatever you named it, it should come back to you as a media player. So just keep that in mind when you're working on uh, the other stuff we're gonna talk about. All right, so you've set it up uh, in, in uh, configuration.yaml and you've restarted. Now you've got your integration set up so it knows this is here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to Node Red. And if you'll notice here, I'm already running a bunch of Echo devices from, from Amazon. So all of these Echo devices will tell me when the fridge door has been left open. So this is uh, an integration or this is a, a flow or a path that reads my fridge door. If it's open for more than two minutes, it will tell me and continue to repeat that. So what I want to do is I want to add a, an output for the Google Nest Mini to say essentially the same thing. So for that, I'm going to do a call service, a call service node, double click it here. And let me go ahead and fire up my mouse highlighter so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a name of notify fridge door open nest mini. Uh, it's probably too long, but we'll leave it that way for now. My domain is TTS, so that's text to speech. My service is gonna be cloud say, and my entity is gonna be media player guest uh, speaker. You can see that I have a guest echo dot there as well. 
And then for my data, I need to put in the actual words that I'm going to say or a message. So this is JSON format. So message colon and what I want it to say. So fridge door open and close that out. Now, if you click on these three dots here, you can actually look at this uh, expanded editor. And to me, this looks good. So we'll say done there and we're done again. And so now we've put this here, I can connect this to the output like the rest. Now, if we want to test this before we actually have it run, um, we can create an, or use an inject node. So inject, and I'm going to attach that here and then we'll deploy it. And if I click on this, crossing fingers, everything should work and you'll hear it um, on my device right here. So let's listen. Listen in and see what it does. So it's sending. Fridge door open. And now it says fridge door open. Fridge door open. So there's a an, uh, there's a timer setting in the in the configuration that I believe I have up set up here. This time memory is how long it keeps that particular phrase cached in the memory. You can have this up to 16 hours or I think as low as 60 seconds. It'll keep it in the memory, so when it says it again, it doesn't have to go download it. It just has it right there. So that's why Fridge door open. whenever it does that, um, without the, all the, the noise at the beginning, it's because it's cached in memory. All right, so that works. You can also do that uh, within um, the YAML itself. And so I'm going to do that under Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go to my scripts, and I have a a bunch of scripts that run and one of them is to arm my alarm system at nighttime and so for that what I want to do is I want to add a service call directly to uh, the TTS engine to say that now you can do this anywhere you can do this in, in I'm doing this in my scripts but in your automations or whatever else you can actually do this as well so this is going to be a, a service And this will be um, tts.google translate say. Uh, and then entity ID, of course, will be the um, media player guest speaker. Um, the data, of course, is actually the message that we're going to have it say. And we'll say uh, the alarm is armed in night mode. And so it'll run through this sequence and it will send us that message. And now the sky's the limit here. You can do this with any kind of um, automations or anything you want it to uh, to do here or anytime you want to say something. So within the last two videos, I've showed you how to control devices with the Google Nest Mini. And in addition to that, um, now we can actually have Home Assistant tell us things that are occurring within our automations or within our home or whatever our smart area is. And that'll make announcements. You can also do this with the Echo devices, which I've done before. If you have any questions, make sure you put those in the comments down below. Hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. If you want to support me, hit me up on Ko-fi or Patreon. Those are links down below. And um, hit the bell icon so you know when I drop new videos or when I have live streams. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.